In the 96-97 season, Chesterfield won the hearts across English football when, against all the odds, they reached the semi-finals of the FA Cup, whilst being a third-tier side. It was one of the greatest moments in the club's history, and although they would not win the famous trophy, they created great memories to last a lifetime. This is a story of Chesterfield's incredible FA Cup run. Chesterfield, under the management of John Duncan, started the 96-97 campaign well. They were challenging for the playoff positions, but were knocked out of the League Cup and Football League trophy in the early rounds. They entered the FA Cup in the first round, hoping to improve on their previous disappointments. Their first game would be against Bury at home. A goal from Mark Williams saw Chesterfield to a 1-0 win, and they would face Scarborough in the second round. Goals from Kevin Davis and Anthony Lamore sealed a 2-0 win, and Chesterfield were through to the third round. Chesterfield hoped to be drawn against one of the top teams in round three, but in the end would face Bristol City, who were in the same division as the Spyrites. Whilst it was disappointing that Chesterfield would not be facing one of the big guns, a game against one of their contemporaries gave them a greater chance of advancing to the fourth round and two goals from Jonathan Howard sent Chesterfield through to round four. Their next game came against Bolton Wanderers, a team in the division above. It was Chesterfield's first away draw in the competition, and Bolton sat at the top of the first division. With Bolton in fine form, many expected the Trotters to advance. But an early goal from Kevin Davis put Chesterfield into the lead. Scott Taylor levelled for Bolton around 10 minutes later, but Davis netted a second to restore Chesterfield's advantage. With 15 minutes left, Davis completed his hat-trick, and although Bolton got one more back, Chesterfield held on and advanced to the next round. Their opponents in round five would be one division higher than before, Nottingham Forest. Chesterfield had reached the fifth round three times before, and although Nottingham Forest were a top-flight side, they were battling relegation, and Chesterfield fancied their chances and Chesterfield's belief would pay off. A penalty from Thomas Curtis was enough to defeat Forrest and send Chesterfield further than they had ever previously got in the competition. The luck of the draw was on Chesterfield's side, as they were drawn at home to Wrexham, and a goal from Chris Beaumont sent the Spyrites into the semi-finals. It was an incredible achievement to get so far, but Chesterfield believed they could go all the way. They would face Middlesbrough in the semi-finals, a side who were battling relegation from the Premier League, and having already knocked out Nottingham Forest, Chesterfield believed that Borough would be there for the taking too. Almost 50,000 fans were inside Old Trafford to see the semi-final take place, and Chesterfield had the chance to make history. The first half finished goalless, but a shock appeared to be on the cards when in the 54th minute, Andy Morris scored to give Chesterfield the lead. A few minutes later, Chesterfield had a penalty. Captain Sean Dyche decided to take the responsibility of the spot kick, despite having not scored for four years. He blasted it in to give Chesterfield a two-goal advantage. A trip to Wembley for the Spyrites was in sight, but it all soon came crashing down to earth. Fabrizio Ravanelli got one back for Middlesbrough, and afterwards, Jonathan Howard hit a shot to the Borough goal that bounced off the crossbar and went over the line. But David Ellery ruled that the shot had not gone in, and play continued, much to Chesterfield's anger. With 20 minutes left, Sean Dyche gave away a penalty, which was converted by Craig Hignett. The game would go to extra time. Gianluca Festa scored to put Middlesbrough in front, and they were moments away from the FA Cup final. But with only one minute left, Jamie Hewitt scored to level the game and send the semi-final into a replay. Chesterfield had thrown it all away but saved themselves at the death, and now they had a second chance to reach the final. But sadly, it was the end of the road for the Spyrites. Middlesbrough ran out 3-0 winners to advance to the final. Chesterfield's FA Cup dream was over. Chesterfield's league campaign faltered towards the end of the season, and they would finish 10th in the league. 
and although both their league and cup campaigns ended in disappointments, their run in the cup provided the club with unforgettable moments. It is a testament to the FA Cup that a run like this can happen, and even though it did not end in glory, Chesterfield fought valiantly in one of the greatest FA Cup semi-finals of all time. There have been many great underdog tales in the history of the FA Cup, and Chesterfield's unlikely run to the FA Cup semi-final is certainly up there, and does not get the appreciation that it deserves. As a club who have since fallen away from the Football League, the memories of the run can never be taken away from them.